Hey, how's it going? My name's Eric. If you're new to the channel, thanks for uh, for joining us today. Uh, if you are looking for more long COVID videos, um, I myself have been a long hauler for nine months and I did some videos about the Moderna vaccine and my reaction to them. So hopefully those can be of help to you. Check them out. I will try to remember to link them down below. Um, but also if you have been around for the few videos that have been on this channel, um, thanks for coming back and uh, we're gonna dive deep into long COVID and chronic fatigue syndrome and the relation between the two in just a minute. So essentially long COVID and chronic fatigue syndrome, I'm gonna use those terms uh, interchangeably. I might say MECFS, um, all just meaning the same kind of disease because that's essentially what I've learned them to be. Um, and um, just learning from a lot of people who have been through this before. Um, and so hopefully I can give you a lot of information that you can use, bring you hope, bring you clarity. Um, but none of this is any kind of medical advice. This is all just some guy on the internet. So, you know, take it for what it is and uh, don't sue me. So uh, for long COVID, essentially it's a, you, you have a perfect storm of stressors that build up in your life and it's things that may not seem like they're big in the moment. Um, but when they just they can build up over time, they might be small like that, but they might be big. Um, my cocktail of stressors happened to be uh, year 2020. Um, I think it was kind of a uh, crapshoot for all of us. And um, it was not only a global pandemic, not only did we have that, uh, we had the civil unrest and the rioting and the violence and things like, even before I was sick, I was... I was feeling anxious. I was having anxiety attacks um, just because of that, and I've never been an anxious person. Um, so that's that's that. Um, on top of that, on top of just what we all went through in the year 2020, um, our dog died, uh, which was like right before I got sick. Um, our dog died, um, which we're big dog people, so that was a, a big stressor in my life. Um, I had started a new job not too long beforehand, so all the mental stress that has to do with that and comes with that. Um, I also had uh, things like I was running myself physically pretty hard. I had um, I had been filming weddings every single weekend of 2020, summer of 2020, um, because I'm an idiot and did that, um, which essentially led to me getting COVID-19, which was the big threat that hit my body. Um, so I had all these stressors building up, building up, building up, and then boom, the body recognizes COVID-19 as a COVID-19 as a real threat to the body, um, which is just kind of like the, the straw that broke the camel's back. And you get stuck, or I got stuck, in um, what they call a sympathetic nervous system response. So you're gonna know it as the fight or flight response. Um, it, essentially, if you're in the middle of woods and you have a bear or a mountain lion or whatever it may be come out from behind a tree, your body doesn't need to worry about digestion. It doesn't need to worry about healing itself at the moment. It doesn't need to worry about a lot of things. It needs to worry about surviving this bear. <laughs> and so you have this response that creates a lot of cascading chemical reactions in your body science happens uh, inside you <laughs> and uh, you really just are amped up you're 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 just your body's in overdrive and um, you can't live like that and so when you get stuck in that response whatever it is that sticks you in that response um, from all these stressors and, and and the physical threat on your body whatever it is about that that sticks you there your body can't stay there forever. Um, it'll, it just can't. It's not sustainable. And so your body is going to flip you back over to the other part of the autonomic nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and digest. It's your, uh, it's it's how it's the the place you want to be if you're healing. <laughs> your body needs to be in the parasympathetic state 
um, for long-term healing and recovering from disease and all these things. And when you flip, when, you, when your body says you've been running in fight or flight for so long, we can't do this and it's going to flip you over there. That's when you're feeling your fatigue. That's when you're, you're laid up in bed for weeks, months, and uh, you're, you, it just forces you there. It's going to do what it has to to force your body or force you to uh, comply because it can't live in, in the sympathetic state. And um, that alone is a stressful thing. Um, when you're stuck in bed and you can't get up, you can't do the things you have to do. You can't do the dishes or, you know, take the kids to school or do your job or whatever. Um, you can barely do the things like go to the bathroom or take a shower. Um, that's stressful in and of itself. And that on top of other things, like if you have any other symptoms from, from COVID in general, um, all these things are just very stressful and you're kind of, you're, you're kind of kicks you back into that sympathetic response again and that's why you're seeing a cycle it's almost a perpetuating cycle where or self-perpetuating cycle where you get stressed and it, it's bad for you and it flips you into the fatigue and, it, and then you're stressed out from that and it flips you back into the sympathetic response it's a whole mess and um, essentially that's what's happening um, that's why it's cyclical and um, that's been chronic fatigue syndrome. A lot of people are getting it from COVID right now, but and we're calling it long COVID, but it's it's essentially just COVID or essentially just chronic fatigue syndrome. Hey, what's going on? This is Future Eric here. I am sitting here editing this video, and I wanted to stop and make sure that I commented on what I was just speaking on in that clip, and clarify that I am 100% not discounting or downplaying any of the extra symptoms. Uh, that we all have faced. Um, there's been some strange ones, some very debilitating and scary um, and just horrible, horrible symptoms that we've all had to deal with. And so um, those are very real. They're very, very debilitating. And I hear you, they're 100% they're real. What I'm saying in this clip is, I think at a lower level, at a foundational level, what we're dealing with is chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, and these other things, these other symptoms um, are just kind of extra layers on top um, that are kind of extra. And I see those going away a lot sooner than um, you know, maybe this chronic fatigue in general. You know, I can't say, you know, 100% for everybody, but I see a lot of these symptoms uh, going away with time. Um, so also I wanted to comment in this video, I'm very, very, uh, I was very tired. I was wiped. So sorry for the kind of the low mood, uh, low energy video. Um, everything's good. I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting better myself. Um, it was just one of those down days we all have. So I think it's good to see. Um, anyway, let's get back to uh, the rest of the video. So for the longest time, I was thinking like most people do, chronic fatigue syndrome is not curable. You are stuck with it for life. Um, and it's just not true. There's a there's so many people recovering from chronic fatigue syndrome and long COVID. Um, some take longer than others, um, but uh, you, can, you can definitely recover. There's so many stories, so many stories. So people think this way because modern medicine doesn't have a pill for it. Um, and so people who are recovering um, and will recover and have recovered which you and I are going to be a couple of them who will recover. Um, they all kind of have a pattern of how they did it. And it has to do with non-Western medicine, um, things like techniques like embracing meditation, which is a huge one. Meditation was a huge one for me. Um, not that I'm 100% yet, but it helps a lot. Um, just bringing your body down to that, that state where you can calm and relax and get into a parasympathetic state to heal um, and doing that consistently, uh, doing that often, not just 20 minutes here, 20 minutes there, once a day. I mean, if that's where you got to start, that's where you've got to start. But um, trying to stay in that state, not a meditative state all day, you can't do that. You got to live your life, but uh, keeping your stress down throughout the day, um, techniques like breath work and uh, you've heard me talk about brain retraining programs like ANS Rewired 
um, that have to do with neuroplasticity and, and um, thinking patterns and those kind of techniques are what people are saying they have done to recover and so um, I'd encourage you to check out all that kind of jazz um, there's a fantastic channel I will link down below um, from Raylan Agle she's uh, she had chronic fatigue syndrome for 10 years and re uh, recovered a few years back and she has a channel all about recovery and it's a fantastic fantastic um, resource and she talks she interviews people I think she interviews someone every single week um, about how they recovered and um, hugely hugely helpful I would recommend it tremendously and um, so yeah that is that is what it is but people are getting better um, watch those videos just knowing that you can get through this is a big deal so um, that is what it is okay hope that helped see ya